Good afternoon, and welcome to the National Shrine of St. Rita of Kasha for our celebration of the Eucharist. Today we gather for the solemn feast of St. Rita, and we celebrate the sixth Sunday of Easter. For 115 years, Catholics have found a spiritual home in this place of prayer, sacrament, healing, and peace. Today, we strive to build on this strong tradition of faith. As a community rooted in Augustinian charisms, we look to encounter and accompany all people as they better understand how and where and in whom God is already at work. And so welcome. Thank you for joining us in person and through our live stream as we continue our shared journey to live in common with one mind and one heart intent upon God. Our celebrant this afternoon is Father Rob Hagen, an Augustinian friar and the prior provincial elect for the Augustinian province of St. Thomas of Villanova. Welcome, Father Rob. He will be joined at the altar by various Augustinian friars as concelebrants. Mass is being offered for all the members of the St. Rita Society. Please remember them and their intentions in your prayers this afternoon. As we gather around the altar of the Lord to celebrate both word and sacrament, we ask St. Rita, our patroness and advocate, to be with us and to intercede on our behalf. Once again, welcome to the National Shrine of St. Rita of Kasha. Please join in all of our hymns this afternoon, beginning with our opening hymn, Come Spread the News, number 19 in your Novena and Feast Day booklet. Come Spread the News, number 19 in your Novena and Feast Day booklet. Please stand.
the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the power of the risen Spirit be with all of you. Happy feast day. Nothing is impossible with God. Peace in every circumstance, even in the storms of life. For those times that we haven't been peacemakers, for those times that we've contributed to the drama, we ask God for forgiveness, for renewed hearts and minds. You came to call each one of us by name. Lord, have mercy. You heal us of all of our wounds. Christ, have mercy. You are the good shepherd who leads us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of the saving food in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some who had come down from Judea were instructing the brothers, unless you are circumcised according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. Because there arose no little dissension and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them, it was decided that Paul, Barnabas, and some of the others should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and elders about this question. The apostles and elders, in agreement with the whole church, decided to choose representatives and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Bersabas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the letter delivered by them. The apostles and the elders, your brothers, to the brothers in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia of Gentile origin, Greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number 
who went out without any mandate from us have upset you with their teachings and disturbed your peace of mind, we have with one accord decided to choose representatives and to send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are sending Judas and Silas, who will also convey the same message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place on you any burden beyond these necessities, namely, to abstain from meat, sacrifice to idols, from blood, from meats of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free of these, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the book of Revelation. The angel took me in spirit to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God. It gleamed with the splendor of God. Its radiance was like that of a precious stone, like jasper, clear as crystal. It had a massive high wall with 12 gates where 12 angels were stationed and on which names were inscribed, the names of the 12 tribes of the Israelites. 
There were three gates facing east, three north, three south, and three west. The wall of the city had 12 courses of stones as its foundation, on which were inscribed the 12 names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. I saw no temple in the city, for its temple is the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb. The city had no need of sun or moon to shine on it, for the glory of God gave it light, and its lamp was the Lamb. The word of the Lord. My friends, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever loves me will keep my word and my Father will love them and will come to them and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I've told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. Peace I leave with you and my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you, I'm going away and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father. For the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. The Gospel of the Lord. Happy Feast Day. No more inspiring days than this beautiful May Day where we come together as people have in this sacred space for over a hundred years. People just like you and me with the same concerns and troubles and pasts and broken hearts that you and I share to find healing, strength, and peace. 
I left a group this morning right down in the Italian market who have lots and lots of statues on rolling carts and they are going to process as they are right at this very moment throughout the market and throughout South Philly and through neighborhoods with saints like Francis and Anthony and Pio and Thomas and John and our Blessed Mother Mary with their faith that's in here and in here and to make sure it's out there on the streets in our neighborhoods in our hospitals in our businesses and families and kitchens where people are still hurting and of course Rita this beautiful May day where we remember someone who struggled persevered and overcame with faith. This beautiful May day in the season of spring and Easter where it's all about new beginnings and new life and flowers blooming and trees blossoming, blossoming. This beautiful May day. Ironic, isn't it? May Day. May Day, May Day. It's a universal distress signal. The military people will cry out May Day when they're in trouble. When there's an emergency and there's a crisis. May Dere, French. Send me help. We're inspired by this gospel. As Jesus Christ is preparing his disciples and us for his return to the Father, he's not going to be on fishing trips and in the boat exactly the way he was with them when they were fishing. But he says, I will never leave you. I will not abandon you. And do not let your hearts be troubled and be not afraid because I will leave you peace of myself in the Holy Spirit, the advocate that will fill your heads and your hearts and remind you because what happens when things go wrong? We often go with them and we forget and it bears remembering a God who is with us, not just in the good times, but in the tough times and the dark times where the light of Christ always breaks through. You and I, we come here, we're all dressed up, and we greet each other like we have it all together. But you know and I know in the silence of our heads and hearts, we're crying out, May Day, May Day. COVID, May Day, political unrest, May Day, fighting in the streets, May Day, lost my job, May Day, family member diagnosed with cancer or illness or addiction or substance abuse, depression, anxiety, May Day, May Day, May Day. And this gospel reminds us the advocate, the helper, the peace and the strength And the love and the compassion that comes from God is still with us. Find confidence in that, not self-confidence, but confidence in what you can do and accomplish with God, with the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ. This beautiful May Day, we take inspiration as we remember Rita and her life 
challenges in her life. Her husband was murdered. And that feeling in a family, just like you and I, when we're betrayed and something goes wrong and we're hurt, that sense of frustration and bitterness, resentfulness, we want to take it out on somebody. Rita's family was no different. But she recognized the futile act in revenge and the peace that comes from forgiving hearts as she brokered peace between her family and others. She serves as an inspiration for all of us to lean on that same advocate, that same spirit, that same strength, to find peace, not just when the sun's out, not just when everything's going well, but in the brokenness, when we've been betrayed, when we lost the job, when we get sick, and we're suffering, and we're down, and we're facing darkness, To trust like Rita and believe that the light of Christ can illuminate even the darkest heart. And with that comes healing. And with that comes peace. And then to take that and share it with the world. To go back out onto the street and to be a peacemaker to offer compassion for someone who's, su who's suffering too, to light somebody else's darkness, and to trust and believe that God abandons no one. Take inspiration from Rita. Make the world a better place. Take inspiration from this gospel. Take strength from the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Be confident in your head and your heart with peace. And know that help is indeed on the way. Lord God, creator of all that is beautiful, the splendor of these roses reflects your glory. As we gather today on this Feast of St. Rita, we ask you to bless these roses and all other religious articles so that the faithful who use them to adorn their homes may praise you always for the beauty with which you have clothed your creation and may imitate the virtues of St. Rita, with which she announced your kingdom, where you live and reign forever and ever.
As people of faith, we profess it together. I believe in one God, the Father the Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God, Son of God, born the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, the God not made, but substantial with the Father. Through him all things are made. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was the corner of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate, he suffered death, and was buried, and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in the one world and the Holy Spirit. I confess one baptism to the of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Inspired by the faith and perseverance of St. Rita, we now offer our petitions, trusting in God's mercy and compassion. For our Holy Father, Francis, the bishops, clergy, our prior provincial elect, and all who minister to God's people, may they lead the church to a deeper faith in God and a stronger love for others. We pray to the Lord. Lord for peace in our families, in our city, and in the world, especially in Ukraine and other communities impacted by war. May the example and intercession of St. Rita bring about authentic healing and reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. Lord for all who are sick and suffering throughout the world, who are fearful and in great need, and who feel the added burden of isolation from family and friends, may they know of God's love and closeness to them, today and always. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the patrons, pilgrims, benefactors, volunteers, and staff of the Shrine community, and their intentions that we remember especially today, May the intercession of St. Rita continue to guide all people closer to God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our beloved deceased, especially those, who have, those we have lost in the past year, may all who have died share in Christ's victory over death and live forever in his promise of peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the married life, priesthood, and religious life, especially the Augustinian way of life, may all who are called by God have the courage to respond faithfully and joyfully. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts, We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, in your infinite love and mercy, you heed the prayer of your beloved servant, Rita. Relying on her compassionate love, we ask you to assist us in our needs. Let us always turn to you as the helper of the humble, the defender of the weak, and the strength of those who trust in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Nice job. Thank you. So, gotta bring it up again, right? No, they're not. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna go through and see where it's at. I'm just gonna be nice.
Let us pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Friends, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restores our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You therefore, Almighty God, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves have turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, giving you thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his friends, saying, take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, gave the chalice to his friends, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us together with your Son, and in this saving banquet graciously make holy these gifts which we have brought to you for consecration, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another, 
May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Nelson our Bishop and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us around the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Apostles, Saint Rita, and all the saints, all of our sisters and brothers, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Trusting in the one who never abandons us, we call for help in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all worry and fear, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My friends, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer to one another safe signs of peace. My friends, see what you believe and become what you see. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. In just a moment, we will begin our distribution of Holy Communion. When directed by the ushers, we will invite everyone seated in the two center sections to move to the center aisle to receive Holy Communion. We ask that you return to your pews by way of the side aisles. We invite those who are sitting on the far sides, underneath the windows, to remain in your pews. 
a minister of Holy Communion, will bring communion to you. Once again, we invite and ask everyone to please wait to follow the instructions and directions of our ushers. Thank you.
Let us continue our prayer. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this mystery, and pour into our hearts the strength of the saving food through Christ our Lord. My friends, thank you for joining us today. As a reminder, we invite you to visit our new Kasha Center after Mass. $15 meals are being sold by Mama Maria Ristorante. They can be enjoyed in the Kasha Center or taken home to enjoy with your family. In addition, the Sacrament of Reconciliation is being offered in the Kasha Center throughout the day. Thank you all and God bless you. My friends, the Lord be with you. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. 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 May he, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven forever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. A special, a special reading. Through the intercession of St. Rita, may God bless you now and always and help you find peace and share that with the world.